Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your MOGA device to your Android device. So this is a MOGA uh, gaming controller. It's made to be uh, connect uh, to use your Android device as a gaming console basically, so you can actually control it with this instead of the basic touchscreen controllers. So first let's find out how to uh, download the app. And to do that, we'll just uh, search MOGA, and we'll come up with this, MOGA Pivot. So this is the official app for it. Um, there is a third-party app that I'll talk about uh, later on, um, and go more into in-depth for another video, and the differences between the two apps. But for right now, let's just choose the official app. So this is about to finish downloading, and then we'll be able to set it up. So it has installed, now we're gonna hit open. And it's going to walk us through the basic steps on how to set it up. So one important thing to note is um, the MOGA does have a flip part right here, which is made so you can actually put your phone or um, actually, yeah, just phones into the uh, storage itself to be able to use it. Um, and once it is done uh, starting, you can hit set up and turn on your Bluetooth on your phone first and then turn it on the device which it points is right here and we'll switch on the MOGA and you should see a blue blinking light and then it tells you is the light blinking blue yes it is and then we should be able to sync these devices if it's not syncing for any reason uh, just try it again basically try to un um, either uninstall the app or just uh, restart the app and see if it'll work for the setup. And uh, of course, we do recommend registering and all that stuff. And uh, so first of all, I wanna see uh, what games are compatible with the MOGA device. Uh, just letting you know, even if games accept an input control like emulators or um, like sh games like Shadow Gun, it will not accept the MOGA. The MOGA is only limited to the games that are in the store, that um, are here in the MOGA store. Um, this is basically when you click it, if you don't own the game, it'll redirect you to the Play Store to buy the game. Uh, but let's go from A to Z, just so we can see all of the different apps, all the different games that you can play with this. So keep in mind that if a game is not here, it would not be able to work with the MOGA device. So let's go and see. So I'll name the ones that I am familiar with. Uh, Blazing Souls, like an RPG game. Uh, Crazy Snowboarding is, of course, a good snowboarding game. Uh, some big ones right here, the uh, Dead Trigger, which is a first-person shooter game. Of course, the Doom uh, GLES, which is a great uh, game that has uh, Doom 1, 2, and I believe Final Doom or... No, not Final Doom. Something else. I forget what the third one is. <clears throat> uh, Gangster Rio, which was a great game until the Grand Theft Auto series came out, which is there as well. You also have, let's see, Modern Combat 4, which is of course another big one, Nova 3, which is another big one, NFL Pro, Pac-Man, Radiant, uh, Real Soccer 2013, uh, Riptide, which kind of needs a part two by now, I mean, that's been out since like Android tablets have been out, uh, Six Guns, all the Sonic games, The Bard's Tale, uh, Dark Knight, which is of course a big one, uh, Tiki, Kart 3D, Vendetta Online, which is another good one, and then uh, Wild Blood, which is another good one. So those are all the games that are um, in the shop that I do not have on my phone. Uh, which ones do I have on my phone? I think I only have one of them. Yes, I have the Asphalt 7 which we can then connect, and I'll tell you what, I'll put it on the device, the way it's meant to be played. So, if it's a phone, you can set it up like this. If it is not a phone, then uh, you'll just use it through Bluetooth through um, for a tablet. So, let's play now.
and it's not connected. I've had this happen before where for some reason either the controller isn't synced up to it. Uh, let me try ending the game or going directly to the game. No, see, as you can see, it's not connected. Maybe now it will be. Nope. Let me restart the Moog app. All right. And see, it still indicates that the controller is connected right now. Uh, but once if we go back to the Moog app and see right here. And now it popped up that it's connected. Let's see if it's connected. This time we have a green light here, which didn't have there before, I believe. Okay, so now it's working. Um, I have seen that before, guys. I'm not sure if it's a common um, thing that Moga is going through. So now let's just see if the controllers respond this time. Um, I have played this with the Moga before on another device. Um, the joystick moves it. Uh, brake is your right trigger on the back. And then your left trigger on the front is uh, the Nas. So yes. Now it's working fine as we can see. And that was my Nas, so I guess a couple buttons can do the Nas. This one can do the camera angles. And that one is also the brake. So, um, this is the basic idea of the MOGA to give you a much better gaming experience than you would otherwise have when it doesn't stop. Well, obviously it's having some issues, but um, that's the main concept of the MOGA device uh, to basically game like you normally could not. Now, uh, very important again that the MOGA does not work for other devices uh, or for other games rather that are not on the list, um, except when possibly we use the MOGA third party app. So I will try to see that MOGA third party app um, it might need rooting. If it does, then I won't do it, um, just because none of my devices are currently rooted right now. Um, but if it does require rooting, then um, that might be the only way to do it. So we'll see and we'll find out. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask about the MOGA. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.